So, it's uh, winter here, uh, 25th of January, and as you can see, it's uh, fairly nice and toasty. It's about 73, 74 degrees today. A little on the chilly side. However, in the north, I'm sure you're under three feet of snow, but this is Texas. What can I say? I'm doing a follow-up on the solar wax melter. I built this thing about three years ago. I put a video up. I'll put the link to it about right there. And if not, there'll be another link down in the comments section. Um, this is really done well. It is a very simplistic solar wax melter. Uh, I've noticed for Texas, you don't need to do the double glass and paint the back black. It gets too hot under normal conditions. This is Texas. I think anybody uh, south of Kansas, uh, you're just going to overheat it. In the north, Minnesota, yes, you want to put a maybe double glass and you want to definitely paint it black. Here it gets too hot. If it gets too hot, your wax will discolor. It's something about the chemical breakdown of wax. You break out certain oils, you break down certain oils, and it changes to a, a darker brown, an undesirable color of wax for most people. Um, so, let's look at this one. Right now it is in full sun. It's been in full sun since this morning. It's about noon, noon, noon 30. And my thermometer I've put in there, which is a cheap thermometer, uh, is pegged out. So let's go look at it. Okay, you may be able to see that. I'm going to pull the cover off. We're going to look at it a bit more closely. Which, by the way, I don't even bother cleaning this glass. It is dirty and dingy, and it helps block sun from getting in so it doesn't overheat. Now quickly, let me go look at the thermometer. All right, I'm going to probably zoom in a little bit more. And that's pegged out a little past uh, 140. Realistically, it's 160. It is pegged. It's probably hotter than that. This is some poor uh, thermometer I somebody left behind in one of my units, a uh, renter, and so I just threw it in here. It stays dry, and it's actually useful. Now, let's look a little bit about the contents of this. This is a 8, 8, 8. This is a 24 inch. Wow. This is a 24 inch piece of duct that I. It was a duct tube that I unrolled because it fit this nearly perfectly. And uh, it is propped up underneath. Let me lift this up. It's propped up underneath simply by some boards. And below it, I have a reused, here, a reused um, TV dinner plastic tray that is great because it's flexible and it will pop out the wax. Now, this gunk in here, this gunk in here is called slum gum. Slum gum is the paper that the pupae will stick to the walls of its cell that stays behind. Uh, it does absorb a lot of wax. There used to be slum gum processors in the United States. There are very few these days. And I keep nearby my solar wax melter a, a simple scoop so I can try to scoop this stuff out whenever I need to. Now I can't do it one-handed holding a camera, but I can scoop it out and I can go throw it in the compost, which is a, a good place for it. Uh, this is fairly loose in here, but it works. Whenever I put the lid on, it flattens it out and it holds it in place, and my wax will go to the bottom. Now, there's always wax in here at all given times. Uh, and I've got a little bit of window screen that I put on here that lets the wax go through it. It holds back the slum gum, but it, it does a really good job. You also notice that I have tried to insulate this to keep the heat out. Uh, sorry, to keep the heat in, and I found that to be fairly foolish because it overheats. Um, all in all, the 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 units held up. I did a very poor job in, in manufacturing it. As I said, I'm not a woodworker. Some screws to hold it in place. A little bit of wood here and there to try to keep this try to keep this intact. I never bothered fixing the corner because, again, I am overheating my unit. It's changing the color of the wax.
So, all in all, let's put you back up. All in all, this is an excellent unit. If you want to make one, this is made entirely of fence planks. Uh, just one plank high, and I put enough planks in the bottom to make it uh, the width I needed. You definitely want to design your solar wax melter based upon the size of glass you get. Uh, I do like the glass. I used to kind of like the plexiglass idea, but three years later the plexiglass probably would have maybe yellowed a little bit. Uh, it probably would have worked still. But if you have free glass, which you can probably find in Craigslist, somebody's window, just build your frame to the size of the window. Put in some kind of metal bottom that absorbs heat and heats it from underneath. That's key, very key. And it's just going to run off into your container. The container, again, these plastic uh, TV dinner containers, just they're perfect molds. You just push them out. Uh, they're made of polypropylene. Or, it's, I don't know what it is. I think it's polypropylene. Anyway, that's it, and I will talk to you later.